and this is a short video where we're going to talk about what um, Euler's phi function of p times q is for two primes p and q. And to try to motivate the general case for any two primes p and q, let's do it with a specific example with three times five. So I want to know what is phi of three times five. So the first thing that we would do is why don't I list all the numbers from one to three times five? So from one to fifteen. So I write them all out right here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color. I'm going to color the multiples of three that I see, and I'm also going to color the multiples of five that I see. And so I've colored the multiples of three in green, and I've colored the multiples of five in red. And at the very end, you see 15. He gets both colors because he's a multiple of both. Now, uh, what do I want to notice? How many multiples of three are there? Oh, there's five of them. And the next thing I want to count is how many multiples of five are there in this list? Oh, there's three of them. That has to do with the two numbers we're playing with. So at the, uh, what happened though, well, I double counted 15, right? 15 appears in both of those lists. So what are we gonna do? Well, let's count how many numbers are not relatively prime to 15. And so those are my highlighted numbers. So there's three plus five minus one though, cause I double counted 15 at the end. So three plus five minus one is seven. So there's seven numbers that aren't relatively prime to 15. So now think about if I wanna know the number of how many numbers are relatively prime to 15, do total minus how many aren't. And that's the last step. Total is 15 minus how many there aren't, seven, you get eight. Thus there's eight numbers that are relatively prime to 15. In other words, five of 15 is equal to eight. What we wanna do is just generalize this idea to any two primes P and Q. And I've tried to write it down here. The idea is again, instead of right off the bat counting how many numbers are relatively prime to P times Q, it's much easier to logic out how many numbers are not relatively prime to p times q? So we'll do that same exact thing. So first, list, think about in your head, listing out the numbers from 1 to pq, whatever that looks like. But we're going to go through the list again. And again, we're going to count how many numbers are not relatively prime to p times q. Well, that means that they either, have, either had to be a multiple of p or a multiple of q, right? since these p's and q's are primes. So let's count again, just like we did above. Well, there should be q multiples of p in your list that you're thinking about in your head. And there should also be p multiples of q. And again, be careful. It's natural to think, whoa, the, so there's q plus p, q plus p total numbers that are not relatively prime to q times p. But you have to subtract one again, because in the green list and in the red list, you counted pq in each of those. So again, you count pq in both of those lists right there, so you need to subtract that one. So what did we just figure out? In your list from one to pq, I know that there are p plus q minus one numbers that are not relatively prime to p times q. So how many are? Just do total minus that. So 5pq, which is how many numbers are relatively prime to pq, should be pq, which is the total, minus how many are not, which you just calculated was p plus q minus one. Now do a little bit of algebra, distribute that minus sign, you should get pq minus p minus q plus one. Do a little factoring. Factor that p out of the first, uh, first two terms there. Do a little factoring again, and you get your final answer of p minus one times q minus one. So that is the formula uh, for phi of p times q.